A microprocessor is a computer processor that incorporates the functions of a computer's central processing unit on a single integrated circuit, or at most a few integrated circuits. The microprocessor is a multi-purpose, programmable device that accepts digital data as input, processes it according to instructions stored in its memory, and provides results as output. Microprocessors contain both combinational logic and sequential digital logic. Microprocessors operate on numbers and symbols represented in the binary numeral system. The integration of a whole CPU onto a single chip or on a few chips greatly reduce the cost of processing power. Integrated circuit processes are produced in large numbers by highly automated processes resulting in a low per unit cost. Single-chip processes increase reliability as there are many fewer electrical connections to fail. As microprocessor designs get faster, the cost of manufacturing a chip generally stays the same. Before microprocessors, small computers had been implemented using racks of circuit boards with many medium and small-scale integrated circuits. Microprocessors integrated this into one or a few large-scale ICs. Continued increases in microprocessor capacity have since rendered other forms of computers almost completely obsolete, with one or more microprocessors used in everything from the smallest embedded systems and handheld devices to the largest mainframes and supercomputers. Structure The internal arrangement of a microprocessor varies depending on the age of the design and the intended purposes of the microprocessor. The complexity of an integrated circuit is bounded by physical limitations of the number of transistors that can be put onto one chip, the number of package terminations that can connect the processor to other parts of the system the number of interconnections it is possible to make on the chip, and the heat that the chip can dissipate. Advancing technology makes more complex and powerful chips feasible to manufacture. A minimal hypothetical microprocessor might only include an arithmetic logic unit and a control logic section. The ALU performs operations such as addition, subtraction, and operations such as an or or. Each operation of the ALU sets one or more flags in a status register, which indicate the results of the last operation. The control logic section retrieves instruction operation codes from memory and initiates whatever sequence of operations of the ALU requires to carry out the instruction. A single operation code might affect many individual data paths, registers, and other elements of the processor. As integrated circuit technology advanced, it was feasible to manufacture more and more complex processors on a single chip. The size of data objects became larger, allowing more transistors on a chip allowed word sizes to increase from 4 and 8-bit words up to today's 64-bit words. Additional features were added to the processor architecture, more on-chip registers sped up programs, and complex instructions could be used to make more compact programs. Floating-point arithmetic, for example, was often not available on 8-bit microprocessors, but had to be carried out in software. Integration of the floating-point unit first as a separate integrated circuit and then as part of the same microprocessor chip, sped up floating-point calculations. Occasionally, physical limitations of integrated circuits made such practices as a bit-slice approach necessary. Instead of processing all of a long word on one integrated circuit, multiple circuits in parallel process subsets of each data word. While this required extra logic to handle, for example, carry an overflow within each slice, the result was a system that could handle, for example, 32-bit words using integrated circuits with a capacity for only 4 bits each. With the ability to put large numbers of transistors on one chip, it becomes feasible to integrate memory on the same die as the processor. This CPU cache has the advantage of faster access than off-chip memory, and increases the processing speed of the system for many applications. Processor clock frequency has increased more rapidly than external memory speed, except in the recent past. 
so cache memory is necessary if the processor is not delayed by slower external memory. Special Purpose Designs A microprocessor is a general-purpose system. Several specialized processing devices have followed from the technology. Microcontrollers integrate a microprocessor with peripheral devices in embedded systems. A digital signal processor is specialized for signal processing. Graphics processing units may have no limited or general programming facilities. For example, GPUs through the 1990s were mostly non-programmable and have only recently gained limited facilities like programmable vertex shaders. 32-bit processors have more digital logic than narrower processors. So 32-bit processors produce more digital noise and have higher static consumption than narrower processors. Reducing digital noise improves ADC conversion results. So, 8-bit or 16-bit processes are better than 32-bit processes for system on-of-chip and microcontrollers that require extremely low-power electronics, or are a part of a mixed-signal integrated circuit with noise-sensitive on-chip analog electronics such as high-resolution analog-to-digital converters, or both. Nevertheless, trade-off supply. Running 32-bit arithmetic on an 8-bit chip could end up using more power, as the chip must execute software with multiple instructions. Modern microprocessors go into low-power states when possible, and a 8-bit chip running 32-bit software is active most of the time. This creates a delicate balance between software, hardware and use patterns, plus costs. However, some people say a 32-bit microprocessor may use less average power than an 8-bit microprocessor when the application requires certain operations such as floating-point math that take many more clock cycles on an 8-bit microprocessor than a 32-bit microprocessor so the 8-bit microprocessor spends more time in high-power operating mode, embedded applications, Thousands of items that were traditionally not computer-related include microprocessors. These include large and small household appliances, cars, car keys, tools and test instruments, toys, light switches, dimmers and electrical circuit breakers, smoke alarms, battery packs, and hi-fi audio, visual components. Such products as cellular telephones, DVD video system and HDTV broadcast systems fundamentally require consumer devices with powerful, low-cost microprocessors. Increasingly stringent pollution control standards effectively require automobile manufacturers to use microprocessor engine management systems to allow optimal control of emissions over widely varying operating conditions of an automobile. Non-programmable controls would require complex, bulky, or costly implementation to achieve the results possible with a microprocessor. A microprocessor control program can be easily tailored to different needs of a product's line, allowing upgrades in performance with minimal redesign of the product. Different features can be implemented in different models of a product line at negligible production cost. Microprocessor control of a system can provide control strategies that would be impractical to implement using electromechanical controls or purpose-built electronic controls. For example, an engine control system in an automobile can adjust ignition timing based on engine speed, load on the engine, ambient temperature, and any observed tendency for knocking, allowing an automobile to operate on a range of fuel grades.